Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Survival Let's Play. Today we're on episode 72 and I'm outside the word working place because I am gathering a lot of bees. Oh my gosh, I never realized there was this many. Look at them, they're adorable. I don't know if they fit in there or not. I mean, they all came out of there, they just don't want to go back in sometimes for some reason. Which is fine, as long as they go back in, I, I'm fine with that. But anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm here gathering some bees as you can see. So last episode I said I wanted to gather some bee nests because I want to have them over at my new like tree area at my new forest and it's been really hard as you can see I have this little I have this little like flower pathway set up I'm gonna take it out earlier when I'm finished but uh I have trees growing in between the flowers and that's how I get the bee nest but there's only a 5% chance of a bee nest spawning in a tree when it's surrounded by flowers in a 5 block radius I guess and I have been really unlucky so far. I mean, I have these three, and I did have four at some point. I had the very first one sit right here, but then I accidentally broke it, and I'm really, really upset with that. So thankfully, no bees died. I was able to run away from them, so they didn't sting me and die. They're really rare, and actually, the first one that I got like grew somewhere around here, and it grew under a really small tree. And then the next three that I got, like, literally grew on the same spot. I don't know how, but they have not been growing anywhere else other than, like, around here. And as you saw in the beginning of the episode, it was raining, and I repaired my new axe that I got. I haven't retired my old one. The diamond one is still, like, a little under halfway broken, but I want to take it on my adventure soon. But yeah, meanwhile, I made this new iron one. It's called the Perch Buster, and I mean, I was growing birch trees because... Bees do spawn on birch trees, but it wasn't working, and as soon as I planted an oak one, a bee came out, so I started doing oak from, from then on. But yeah, it was raining, so the bees weren't coming out, but now that it stopped raining, you can see they're starting to produce more honey again. So I've been harvesting this for a while now, I actually have a lot of, um, what's it called? Honeycomb, yeah, I have a bunch of honeycomb. And I just go here on the back, light up all the campfires, and then... Harvest the honeycomb and then put them out because it causes some lag. And I try to be really careful and not hit any bees because I really don't want any of them to die. And this is how much I've gathered. Oh my gosh, I have so much. So currently I have enough honeycomb for a stack and 44 honeycomb blocks. Which I don't know if that's enough for my project, but we'll have to see in the future. I'm just going to keep collecting it because uh, I think I'm going to do some things with honeycomb for the forest especially. But yeah, this is what I've been up to off camera. I, I've really enjoyed it, honestly. It's really relaxing just farming honey from the bees. But it's so annoying that it's hard to get a, a another bee nest. They just are so rare. It's only a 5% chance, so that's one in every 20 trees. But I've been so unlucky recently, and they just haven't been spawning. So that's pretty upsetting. But let's go ahead and plant some more trees and hope that some bees spawn. So while I'm doing this, I want to talk about something, and that is the new release date for the Capes and Cliffs Part 1. I am so excited. I just, uh, I can't wait to adventure. As I said last episode, I just, I really want to adventure. It's been such a long time since I've done it. But yeah, Capes and Cliffs Part 1 is coming out on June 8th, and we're getting so close. That's next Tuesday. Currently, it's Tuesday, June 1st. So yeah, we have till next Tuesday, and I am just so excited. I really can't wait for that to come out. Oh, it's gonna... I don't know, it's gonna be so exciting. <laughs> no! Well, it looks like no bee nest came out this time, so that's annoying. I, I, that's what I said, they're just so rare. And I actually had to repair this once, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Oh, and I forgot to show you the chest! Look at this! This is how much wood I've gathered! I have so much! I had more oak wood, but I've been using it in the forest, and this is how much birch wood I've gathered. But after all of this, I've only managed to get four bee nests, and then I broke one of them. So moving away from that bee nest farm, I actually have some extra bee nest in here, and actually it's less than I thought. Do I have more? I'm not too sure, but I have some bees in here. This is from when I used to have my old little bee farm right here. It was, a, it was another tree that I had, but I, I wasn't too happy with it, so I took it down and turned it into this, which is pretty cool. I really like it. And I don't know, I feel like I had more bees nest, but I'm not too sure. I still don't think it's enough, but... I'm going to try and get a few more when we go adventuring on the new update, which again is on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm so excited. And we'll gather some bees' nests to have in my tree. And 
here is an update on my forest from last episode. So last episode we left on just the trunk and the branches, but I added some leaves, as you saw in the thumbnail, and I made them sort of droopy too. I, I really like this. I think it looks really nice. Oh yeah, and I added this little bed hanging from there. And also, I have been working on some other custom trees, which I'm really happy with. They actually turned out better than I expected. But recently I've been working on just the trunks for some trees, so right here. And some of them are not actually finished, they still have some dirt, so I need to replace that with wood. But yeah, this is what I have so far, and it's been really fun. But it's gonna take such a long time if I want to make a, a small forest out of this. But I'm dedicated, I really want to make a forest out of these custom trees. I don't know if I'm gonna sprinkle in some regular vanilla tall trees, but um, <laughs> I'll think about that. So yeah, I've actually been doing a lot off camera, and I'm kind of exhausted from this. I'm kind of tired of making the trees and farming the bees. It's it's stressing me because, uh, again, the bees are just so hard to get. And I, I, I just really can't wait to add the bees in here. I can just imagine the honeycomb inside the tree and then the bees living in there. Oh, it's going to be so cool. And also, one more thing before we move on to whatever we're going to do this episode... Thank you everyone so much for 198 subscribers, we're getting so close to 200. I am so excited. The next day. Okay, so it's literally the next day and we hit 200 subscribers. Oh, that's amazing. So yeah, currently we're at 200 subscribers and thank you everyone so much. Uh, yeah, that last clip was actually yesterday. So that happened really quickly and I'm very surprised, but thank you everyone so much for 200 subscribers. So I don't know if we're going to be doing a special video for this because just like a month ago we did a special video for 100 subscribers and we made that monument over there. And I'm not too sure, this just happened really quickly. I mean I kind of do want to do something, I want to make like a, some small statue or something but I'm not sure, I don't know if I'll dedicate a video to it again. I am happy about it, I am happy about 200 people, thank you again everyone so much. But it just happened so quickly, I just don't, I don't know what else to do. I th yeah, as I said, I think I'm going to make a small statue and also add some more flowers to the sunflower patch all the way over there. But we'll do that on another video right now, I want to move on to something else. But yeah, again, thank you, I can't thank you enough for 200. See, when did we hit 100? We hit it on April 21st and right now it's, uh, well yeah, almost like a month and a half later. Again, thank you everyone so much. But now moving on from that, let's do something else. Oh yeah, I'm taking this donkey over here. So I got this donkey because I want to make a mule. So a long time ago, I had my own mule. His name was Mark the Mule. And he sadly died from a creeper explosion, so that sucks. And I used to take him on adventures because uh, mules are a little bit faster than donkeys and they carry stuff, unlike horses. So I want to get a new mule to take on our new adventure for the 1.17 update, part 1. So yeah, I want to make a new meal so it can carry around some extra stuff on my next adventure. And this is going to be your child, Lord Farquaad. Hopefully it's a good meal. Hopefully he's fast and has high jumps. But we'll just have to see. We'll just have to wait for him to grow up. Oh god, I forgot. I forgot he can actually fit through the fence gate. Oh no. Uh, good thing I have some leads. Wow, imagine I lost him. That would have been horrible. Okay, and we'll have this here and hopefully he won't escape this time. There we go, and while we wait on him to grow, I'm going to be close by and I'm going to go work on the woodworking place over here. I just feel it's a little bit empty and slowly I'm just coming up with a few ideas to improve it a little bit more because as you can see, I mean it's a giant building and I want to add a little more to it because it's really empty. So we'll do that while we wait for the meal to grow. So first, I think I'm going to take out all these shelves because I mean they look kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And there we go, the shelves are gone. And just like this, this actually looks pretty nice. And I think I can, okay, I can't add an armor stand, but if I put it up here, oh, if I put it up here, that's going to work. Then I'll go down and flip these trap doors. Oh, come on. And he'll go down. Nice. And I can also fit a chest in here. Maybe a few campfires would be nice. And since I can't really place blocks at the top, let's have a boat instead. And also, I was thinking of putting crafting tables like this in a 2x2x2 two by two by two area. I'll think about that, but for right now, I do want to get some beehives, which are the little boxes that you make with honeycomb. So let me go ahead and grab some honeycomb from here, and I really hope the bees don't fly into the woodworking shop and just claim that box as their home. 
If they do, I guess that's fine. After all, they did produce this honey for me. Yeah, that's a nice design, so... I'll just have two layers of that, and again, if the bees come in here and just like fill this up with their honey, that's gonna be kind of funny, not gonna lie. Also, I will add some more shelves later, but right now this wall is looking a bit empty. I want to add something on it, and recently I found the perfect thing to add on it. So recently I was scrolling through YouTube, and I found a video, and it caught my eye. It showed some interesting little wall designs, or I don't know, something to put on your wall if it's empty. And one of those was a tree design, and I thought it looked really cool, so I want to have it on this wall, because, I mean, it's a tree and this is a woodworking place. And I went on a test world, and it actually fits this wall perfectly. I'll leave a link in the description to the video, because there's actually a few designs, and it's super cool. I just really like the tree one, and I thought it would suit this place, so I'm going to go ahead and build it. Again, video link in the description. Man, this took a while to make. Now this is a situation where I would need scaffolding and that would have made it so much easier. But I don't have any, so hopefully on our next adventure we will find some bamboo. But anyways, here it is. I think it looks super cool. And as I said, it just fits perfectly in here. Anyways, let's go check on our new mule, see how he's doing. Hopefully he's all grown up by now. First I'm going to harvest some honey. Look at all that. And 27 more honey. Now we have enough for two stacks of honeycomb blocks. So that's pretty awesome. Well, two stacks and four. Oh, and it looks like he's all grown up. Look at him. Wow, he has so much health and he actually feels pretty fast. All right, let's see if he's fast. Oh. All right, we'll have to tame him first and then we'll be able to put the saddle on him. There we go. Okay, this is not too bad. It's actually, I mean, it's faster than a donkey. A little bit slower than a horse, but it's not too bad. I'm not too sure. I mean, compared to this donkey, he's a little bit faster. I'm going to ask for a name in the comments, so hopefully we have some good name choices. Oh man, I wish I had this on camera, but my stupid air conditioning was on. But look at this! We got another beehive! Bee nest, whatever. But they do grow on birch trees, so that's good to know, because as I said earlier when I was doing it, 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 they just wouldn't grow on birch trees, and as soon as I planted an oak one around this area, a Venus came out of it. But hey, the birch trees proved me wrong, and now there's one right there. Yes, we got a new one. I'm so happy. And I'm going to keep going, see if I get any more lucky. Oh, no way! That one I got on camera. Yes, another one. And actually, before we go to sleep... Oh, no, there's a creeper over there. Oh, okay. And I want to collect these. This time I have Silk Touch. So I won't have to worry about angering the bees. And we'll actually put them in here for safekeeping. Now the birch buster will serve its purpose. I think I might try and get some more mules off camera, but I think that's going to be it for this video. I think it's a little bit shorter than usual. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm sorry if it's really short. Hopefully next episode we can finally go on our adventure. But there's still about 6 days left for the update to come out, so the next video might be... I don't know, in like 10 to 15 days. I don't know. It might be in a while, but uh... If I can, I'll try to upload a video in between. But for now, I think I'm done, and I hope to see you guys in 1.17, part 1. And yeah, thank you everyone again for 200 subscribers. It means a lot to me, and thank you to anyone who watched to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys another time. Goodbye, everyone.